Mr. Clown here for Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at uh, medians in a triangle and how to find the equation of a median of a triangle. So what is a median? Well, a median of a triangle is just a line which joins a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite line. Now, if you look at one of my previous videos, you'll see that we've already worked out how to do the midpoint formula of a line. So it's the same as usual. We're trying to find the equation of a line. So we need the point, which is going to be a midpoint. And then we need the gradient, and once we've got the midpoint, then we'll have two points, the gradient and the opposite vertex, so we can find the gradient and use the straight line formula, y minus b equals mx minus a, to find the equation of that median. First example says triangle ABC has vertices 4 minus 9, 10, 2 and 4 minus 4. Find the equation of the median from A. So I might as well just draw a triangle to see what I'm looking at. It doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be accurate, it can just be any old triangle, just to give me an idea. Let's just call that A, this is B, and this is C. This is the median from A, so if I draw a line from A, we know that that's going to cut this opposite line in half right there. Let's call that point that it joins that line at, Let's call it M, just to give us a reference point, M being midpoint. So the first thing we need to do is find the equation of M. So to find M, it is going to be using the midpoint formula. So we've got B is 10 and then C is 4. So 10 plus 4 divided by 2. And then for the Y parts, we've got 2. And for C, we've got minus 4 divided by 2 as well. 10 plus 4 is 14 divided by 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 divided by 2. So our midpoint is just the point 7 and negative 1. So there's our first information. We now need, we've got a point. We've all, already had a point A anyway, but we need the gradient. We've got two points to find the gradient between A and M. So if I write this as the gradient between A and M, well, remember A is 4 minus 9, so we've got minus 9 minus minus 1, y2 minus y1, over x2, that's 4, minus 7. Or alternatively, you could have went the other way, minus 1 take away minus 9, 7 take away 4. It makes no difference really. Minus 9, add 1 is minus 8, 4 take away 7 is negative 3, so that's just 8 thirds. We've now got our gradient. So now we can do y minus b equals mx minus a. Using either the point that we found out is the midpoint or the vertex. I'll use the midpoint, so that's going to be my a and b. So I've got y minus minus 1 equals 8 thirds x minus 7. Multiplying through by 3, we get 3 bracket y plus 1 because of the minus minus equals 8 bracket x minus 7. And then just tidying that up, 3y plus 3 equals 8x minus 56. I'll just take everything over to the left hand side in this case and make it equal to 0. So I've got minus 8x plus 3y. 3 plus 56 is 59, and that equals 0. So that's one form you could leave it in. Or if you preferred another form, you could have said that 3y plus 8x equals minus 59. That's another option. Example from the 2015 paper 2 question 1b. I'm not going to do part A, I've done that in a previous video. But I'm just going to focus on part B. Then later on we'll tie this all together and we'll see how A, B and C go together. So just looking at this part of the question here, find the equation of the median from B. So there's my B here. It's, asked, it's not got a line, so I'm just going to draw one in. It's asking me to find the equation of this line where it cuts this in half. So let's just call that M again. So we can find our midpoint. So to find M, we're looking at two points. We're looking at A and C because it's between A and C. So it's minus 5 add 13 divided by 2. And it's 7 plus 3 also divided by 2. 13 minus 5 is 8. So that's 8 over 2. And it's 10 over 2. So that is 4 and 5. 
we have our midpoint. We now need our gradient, because we always need a gradient and a point. So it's a gradient between B and M. So the gradient between B and M equals, well, we need Y2 minus Y1. So B is minus 1 minus 5. So 5 minus minus 5 over 4 minus, being very careful, it's minus 1. So minus 1. 5 minus negative 5 is 10. 4 minus negative 1 is 5. So our gradient is a nice round number of 2. We've now got a gradient and a point. So we can use y minus b equals m x minus a. y minus 5 equals 2 x minus 4. Using our point m, it was just found out as our a and b. Y minus 5 then is 2x minus 8. Or to put it in the normal straight line format, y equals 2x minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. We've now got the equation of our median and we're done. This has been Claire Maths. Today we've went through what a median is and how to find the equation of a median of a triangle. Next time we'll look at then how to find the points of intersections of lines in a triangle, maybe between a median and an altitude or a median and a perpendicular bisect, and we'll go through a number of examples like that. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.